Hey, what's going on, guys? Doom here. And uh, sorry for the lack of tutorials over the past few days. Uh, I've been really busy um, with my other channels, and I'm in the process of moving and stuff right now. So, um, you know, it's just been a little hectic for me lately. It's been hard for me to make these, so uh, I should have uh, a few ready to go and, like, have um, a read back to my regular upload schedule, which is every other day with these. And I'm um, also going to start doing, like, just some commentaries over gameplay and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I'm not, like, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not, like, amazing at Call of Duty or anything, really, but I just feel like something, uh, it's something to put on my channel and, you know, sounds like fun. So, um, today, uh, as you'll tell by the title of the video, um, is going to be covering Trap Code Form. Uh, as many of you know, I'm uh, a pretty big... Uh, trap code form fan I use it in a lot of my intros and stuff nowadays so we're just gonna be kinda covering the basics I'm just gonna call this part one and then part two will probably be the next video I do and we'll kinda go more uh, advanced in depth with it um, so I'm gonna have to split these up because otherwise it's gonna be way too long uh, once again check out the description for my wallpaper designer uh, I'm gonna try to have a new one every time or mix them up or whatever but uh, let's get right into this. So we're going to be creating something similar to this. Not the gameplay part, but you'll notice this uh, the trap code form in the background and everything. I'll be kind of showing you how to set up the entire scene. I'm not going to be going into te uh, text or anything like that. I'm just going to be showing how to work with trap code form. Uh, and how to make it uh, look like this and then um, on the next one part two we'll be covering the entire scene like with flares and camera movement and stuff like that so this one's just going to be kind of simple and I'm going to just show you how to do uh, just that typical trap code form scene so I guess let's jump right into this um, when I do um, when I work with stuff like this like motion graphics I like to work with uh, with um, 1920 by 1080, but uh, you know that's all kind of personal preference. I just feel like um, uh, if you work at a higher aspect ratio like this, and then you scale like you know when you render it out, and then you scale it down into 720, it's going to look a lot better. So I personally work 1920 by 1080. And usually for motion graphics, I work at 23.976 or 24 frames per second. I'm just going to make this, uh, I don't know, I'll just make it a minute long. All right, so here we go. I'll go ahead and just fit this. <clears throat> All right, so uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to create a new solid. And just make sure it's comp size, black's fine, doesn't matter. And uh, you're going to go ahead and go into effect, trap code, form. And you're going to get this little box. It's going to look like nothing. You can zoom in and kind of see the particles. It looks terrible. I also have it on half, but still. Um, so uh, to get this to look the way I had it, we're just going to do a, an entire screen. Um, so you're just going to go up here into your base form and uh, your base form is going to be a, in a box, so as you can tell, it's like a little, just a little square. And uh, stretching these out, you know, changes, um, like you can see right here, size X, size Y. So it's size in the vertical space and the horizontal space. Um, so you can just stretch this out to fit your entire comp, as you can see here. <clears throat> so you can go exactly 1920 by 1080 if you want and it fits perfectly I kinda like to go a little higher just to make sure it fits but that's just me it doesn't really matter um, <clears throat> you can uh, up the amount of particles so this will make it a uh, you can see there's a lot more particles now I'm obviously not gonna do that many I'm just showing you can pretty much make the screen entire white if you want um, I'm just going to up it a little bit. I'm just going to put it at like 100 for now. We'll probably come back and mess with it later. Um, the particles in Z space, uh, I could try to show you this. I'd have to make a camera and stuff, so I don't really feel like it. But basically, there's three, um, 
Uh, I guess I could make a camera real quick in here. Yeah, you know what? I'll make one. Hold on one second. I'll just make a new camera. It's fine. I'm just using this to show you guys. Um, so I'm going to use my orbit. You'll see here that there's actually three layers. Um, you'll see there's one layer here, one layer here, and one layer here of the trap code form and uh, that's particles in Z space so if you put this down to 2 you'll notice the middle one goes away if you put it at 1 you'll notice that it's just going to be one left so if I get rid of this camera you'll see it's just one line of particles now whereas before with 3 you can tell there's a lot more so I'm going to drop it down to 1 sometimes I do uh, like 2 or 3 just to make more but um, for now I'm going to leave it at 1 Go ahead and delete this camera. That was just for an example. Um, we're going to go into particle. We're going to change the size. Uh, this kind of depends on what you want. I'm going to raise it up just so you can see the particles right now. You can see every individual particle right now. Um, this is all personal preference. So I, you know, I can't stress that enough in every single one of my tutorials that I'm only showing you how to use it and how I work with it. I'm not telling you to copy me. I'm just saying you know I'm showing you what to do and how you can mess with it and make it your own so uh, I'm gonna lower this in a little bit but this gives you a pretty good idea of how many particles you have and how many you wanna have so I'm gonna actually up this to like 120 just this one yeah we'll up them both to 120 and then we're gonna change the size back down to like 2 you see there and um, next thing you're gonna do uh, well this kind of depends too. Um, on the one I did, I didn't mess with this. The one I just showed you an example of, but for this I am. Um, you might want to mess with the opacity randomness. You'll notice you'll get kind of a cool effect when you do that where it's kind of blotchy. And uh, you can also do size randomness. So you get a bunch of different size particles. I'm actually going to put this at 50. And I might come back and mess with this again, like I said earlier. Uh, sorry for my fans are going kind of crazy like always. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here into the fractal field, which is just pretty much it controls this entire thing. So if you do um, uh, displace, you'll see they get all crazy and warpy and stuff like that. I'm going to up this a little bit to uh, 5 again just so you guys can see. I'm going to change this to full so you can see them better. There we go. So notice when I mess with displace, it kind of changes them all in a uniform, you know, that's kind of all uh, changing at once. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to drop that, that back down to zero for now. Um, in the fractal field, you'll see effect size and uh, effect uh, opacity. So I'm going to put this at one and one. That's just how I do it. Uh, I've seen other people do it different ways. So that's just the way I do it. And you'll notice now, just with me not really messing with anything other than what you've seen, you'll notice it moving you'll see it kind of uh, moving around a little bit um, if you turn up the displace a little bit something like that you'll notice it moving all about and everything <clears throat> and then to get that kind of cool DNA strand look that I had in the video that I showed you just go into disperse and twist and you can twist this and twist the entire thing so I had it about here in my video, and then you know you mess with the displace more and more, and you kind of just get the desired effect, and it's gonna you know you continue to move and everything like that. And uh, what it's moving on, what's make what's controlling the movement. Sorry about my phone, by the way, is the uh, the flow evolution, which is right here. Uh, so if you turn this down to something lower, uh, it'll move slower throughout the time and everything. So I'm just going to leave that at 50 just for this tutorial, but that's all you. And in the next one, I'm actually going to show how I have it synced to music and everything like that. Like I said, this is just kind of basics on how I uh, how I use it. And then the next one will kind of make a scene with it, kind of show you how to do everything. Um, another thing is you can change the particle color up here and just the particle. So we'll just change it to like a really light blue or something. I want to make sure it's still visible for you guys. So, so now we have a light blue. And um, if you guys have seen my Valentine's Day uh, dual touch with animal, the intro I made, you'll notice that it's like multicolored. And we'll cover that in the next tutorial as well. I'll show you how I do that uh, using uh, an image map. 
Um, so uh, that's you know there's not a whole lot um, I can tell you to do from here. I mean, it's all about just messing around with it and kind of getting um, getting the desired effect. You know, like I said, I can't really uh, tell you exactly how to make what you want to make because I have no idea what you want to make. You know. Uh, <clears throat> The only thing I can really do is just show you how I use it. Um, there's a there's another thing I'm gonna lower this a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna put this twist on zero. I'm just gonna up this displacement a little bit, something like that. Uh, if you go into disperse, you can actually um, you'll see how it's kind of. We'll go back. Hold on, real quick. Um, this at zero and this at zero. There we go. So you'll see how it's kind of just strands of particles, right? It's like lines of particles in a row. Well, if you go in here to the disperse and twist and you up the uh, this disperse, it actually just makes it into a bunch of random particles. And then if you displace it from there, you kind of just have a bunch of random particles. And um, you can lower this and down the, the number of particles in X and Y. So I could bring that down to like... 70 and you'll see now I just have a bunch of random particles and I can make the size different you can make them really big so I mean like you could go huge here so we'll say 40 size random 100 and then you just lower this down something like that so you just have like these really big particles I know I did that on the uh, the holiday team Taj uh, myth holiday team Taj intro I used something similar to this I went way up there though I went to like yeah, I went way up. I went like 120, uh, size random 100, uh, opacity random, I went 100. <clears throat> and then uh, I changed the, amount of, changed the amount of particles to like 10 or something like that. You know, so you just have like these really big particles. And you can feather out the sphere so they, you know, you could make them just plain circles like this. Uh, that all is controlled with the, the sphere feather. So you can make them kind of look blurred out and everything like that. You can also change the the shape of this. You know, you can make them different things: glow sphere, um, <clears throat> sprite. Which I'm not gonna get into that. But um, you can have textured stuff and uh, cloudlets and stuff like that. But I usually just stick to spheres and glow spheres, kind of depending. I'm just gonna leave it on a sphere for this, and then. Uh, I'm just messing with the amount of particles in Z right now, so I'm just gonna put it on two. But uh, you get the point of the, you know, the how to use it and everything. And now I just have some uh, free floating particles, and it's it's similar to trap code particular, but in the same, like it's um, it's similar, but it's not as an uh, not as organic. Uh, you know, it's more of just uh, everything works exactly the same, so everything's controlled with the same thing, whereas um, the uh, with trap code particular, you can really make some interesting stuff. You can kind of make it like uh, look like dust and uh, stuff like that. So this isn't really it, it works similar to particular, but I wouldn't really compare the two that much. Um, so you guys kind of get the point of this. Um, let's see, you can twist these around and it doesn't do anything though, and you can mess up the displacement and everything like that. And, you know, just mess around with it and just come in here and change this stuff and just come up with something you like. You know, a lot of the times I just, when I have an idea for an intro, uh, I'll just come in and I'll mess with it until I have something that looks pretty good, you know. Um, let's see, I'm going to up this again. I never really know, like, what I'm gonna do exactly? I just mess around with it until I come up with something that looks pretty decent to me. So, um, there we go. So you guys get the point on how to use it. Um, you just you know mess with the settings that I showed you how to mess with and everything, and you can come up with some pretty cool effects and stuff like that. I'll show you how I made it glow and everything like that. And um, like I said, I'll set up the entire scene next time. This is just kind of basics. So I suggest just going into After Effects and uh, 
you know, pulling up tribe code for them and just messing with the stuff I mess with. I mean, even going to some of the other stuff and mess with it, you know, I'm not saying I'm perfect with it. You maybe could mess with some depth of field with a camera and stuff like that. If you, you know, if you're, uh, if you know how to use After Effects, you'll know how to do that kind of stuff. If not, go ahead and wait until my next tutorial and I'll show you how to do audio react and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, we'll get into that next tutorial, and uh, for now I'm going to call this over, and I'll go ahead and record part two now, and I'll put that up in a couple of days. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. So until next time, I'm out. Peace.